Hi Leo, Aries and Sagittarius, Fire Signs, welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to find out if what you've been manifesting will come true. To book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below. And today is the 3rd of May 2023. Time here in Bali, Indonesia is 936. <clears throat> Excuse me, AM. <laughs> this is a collective reading for Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. If you were the finally guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you even if you're dealing with the same sign all right now let's get your reading started spirits and angels please show me for leo aries and sagittarius will what they have been manifesting come true I'm finally back in my room. <laughs> if you've been watching my videos every day, you will know that I had to move to another room and then now back to my original room because of uh, my bathroom situation. Something something was wrong with the piping. But anyway, we've got the Ten of Cups here in my purse. Okay. For those of you trying to manifest love, not a cups with an upright position with a hermit in my purse. If you're single, for those of you who are single and trying to manifest love, your knight in shining armor, it doesn't matter he or she is not gender specific. This is somebody um, kind, compassionate, genuine, romantic. Um, I feel like that is going to happen, but look, I've got the page of pentacles, so I'm, I'm happy to see the page of pentacles. That means if you try to manifest this person, if you're single, because the hermit can indicate someone being single, so you're going to come out of your hermit mode. If you do come out of your hermit mode, which, you know, we have to meet with the universe in the middle, right? We cannot wait. We cannot just sit there and wait, do nothing, and for everything to fall fall, <laughs> fall on us. So it's, it's not going to happen. I, I mean, sometimes it does, very rarely, but you have to make that effort effort as well if you are single the hermit in reverse indicates you needing to come out of your shell needing to come out of your isolation mode putting yourself out there you will meet someone okay this knight of cups here this person is a pisces cancer or a scorpio so how are you gonna know if this is the person ace of wands in reverse this person is so romantic i see this you're not going to right away um it feels like you're not going to be intimate with this person right away, okay? Um, this person is interested in looking for true love, in real love, um, not looking for just like a one-night stand, ace of wands and lovers. It could also be you, for those of you, if you're not looking for like a one night stand you don't you're not you're looking for true love you're gonna find it and i like to see the page of pentacles because it means this is a new beginning and also it might take a little bit longer because the hangman here indicates a pause so it will it will take a bit um it's not gonna happen overnight but for some of you if you're currently talking to someone if this person resemble certain qualities that i just mentioned it this could be that one person who could end up offering you a commitment you know page of pentacles like it, it looks young maybe this person is younger than you are or if not this it could be an indication of a new beginning uh that looks you know even though it's small even though it's new but it looks promising okay because no matter what pentacles in the right position for me indicates something that is more steady more stable more tangible okay so we've got the temperance here in reverse and we've got the foul swords i'm hearing this foul swords for those of you if you um if you're in co co in competition with someone or it could be with anything it could be related to your career or it could be literally a competition foul swords if you want to win, if you've been trying to manifest winning something here, okay? The hangman and the page of pentacles. 
I don't know why I'm seeing a sacrifice. So some of you, if you want to win something, it feels like Spirit says you can, but you need to sacrifice something, okay? Could be sacrificing a bad habit, uh, sacrificing... Um, sacrificing socializing sacrificing some of your time or a lot of your time there needs to be a sacrifice okay and with the page of pentacles indicates yes it can happen you could win but it takes some sort of sacrifice here with a hangman um it could generally just be something that you want to be successful at, right? With the Five of Swords. Because this could indicate, again, a competition. If you want to win, you want, want to be the last person standing, holding the swords while people around you who could be in a competition with you give up or lose. You have to make a certain sacrifices. And for some of you, if you try to manifest, I'm just giving an example, to put on more weight or to lose more weight or to gain muscles, whatever it could be. I'm just giving an example again. It's like to make some changes. You want to win something. It could be you uh, fighting with yourself, you in competition with yourself, trying to see if you can do it. Um, it could be you trying to quit smoking, for example, okay? Whatever that you've been in competition with and you want to win, you can, but Spirit says you need to sacrifice something, okay? For example, you might have to sacrifice your diet if you want to achieve a certain type of body. Um, and you will have to sacrifice not smoking, right? Some of you might end up picking up different things, binging on food, if you quit smoking. So there's something. Something needs to go. Something needs to be sacrificed. And then it can happen. So the manifestation will come true with the page of pentacles here, okay? And see, the queen of wands here is also in reverse. This is you, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, but with it being reversed, so something that you may want to achieve in your life, again, it feels like you will have to sacrifice certain things that you are used to. Um, you may not like it, but it's going to be well worth it, okay? Page of pentacles. Page of pentacles is also like, you know, baby steps, putting one foot forward uh, in front of, you know, putting one foot in front of the other slowly, just taking baby steps and you will get there. And it looks like, again, you need to sacrifice something here. The Empress here in reverse. So the Empress in reverse also, you know, it indicates growth. For those of you, if you feel like you're not growing, you're not growing, things are the same again. You don't want it to be the same. You want to change. You want to make these changes. You can, but again, Spirit says, you know, the hangman here. Something needs to go. There needs to be sacrifices. Uh, some of it's you removing from an environment or removing yourself, removing, removing yourself from an environment, removing yourself from a uh, circle of friends. For example, um, I have a half-brother. Story time. I have a half-brother um he apparently this is what i heard i mean we, we were okay we were kind of close but not very very close um but i heard that he had to remove himself from his friends because he was he was into drugs right those what do you call those those drugs where they uh, those those pills, the recreational drugs. Yeah, I remember when I went to a club one time. I ran I ran to him. He actually offered me, and I was like, "Whoa, no, sorry, I don't take it. I don't take these kind of things." I mean, I've never tried any of these things in my whole life because, you know, I like to be in control and I don't like to go out of control and for my safety as well. So, but anyway, he offered it to me. So I said, "Oh no, 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 I don't take these things." So. He assumed that I do because, he assumed that I did because, you know, we saw each other at a club. I do enjoy the music, I do enjoy drinking every now and then, but not those things. But anyway, so what happened was, you know, my dad got him this, this workshop um, to, it's like a business, start a business for him and everything. He never showed up to work because... He was like constantly partying and constantly on drugs. So what happened was, in the end, he realized that he had to make a very, very drastic change, right? Um, so what he did was, he changed his number. He threw his phone away. 
um, and then I got a new phone. I don't know, back then they used those flip phones, I don't know. But anyway, so this is what I heard, that he con completely removed himself from that circle of friends who would end up, you know, um, putting him in that situation again because he really wanted to quit. So he literally had no friends at all. Um, and he even moved to somewhere and worked alone uh, somewhere and didn't want to speak with anybody, just cutting everybody off until he became like okay, until he felt okay, and then he returned home. Uh, he was staying with my dad, my stepdad. But, you know, and he's, he's good. He has been good since then. Like he's been going um, marathon. Uh, he's married. It's his second marriage. And second or third? <laughs> I can't remember. Second or third. But anyway, he's doing well. So I'm just giving an example. Some of you, maybe you have to remove yourself from an environment, from people, uh, from a situation. It feels like a sacrifice because it's like you, maybe some of you are so used to it, right? With the Empress here and my breath, so used to it. So something like just something needs to go again. Um, it'll be going out of your comfort zone, but it's needed, it's necessary, okay? So we've got the Ten of Cups here, lovers. And another example is if you're still connected with someone, you are married to someone, you live in the same house, but both of you are separated, you know, perhaps removing yourself from that house <laughs> or have that person move out. It will be much healthier for your connection with that person or that situation, whatever it could be. So it feels like whatever you've been trying to manifest here, um, for a lot of you, Leo Aries Sag, it can happen, Spirit saying, but you have to remove yourself from that so-called comfort zone that actually may not be good for you, okay? That is what I'm seeing. But the single ones, I do see, again, with the Nine of Cups here. It may not happen that quickly, yeah? Because the ones here in reverse and the hangman here indicates a bit of a pause. But you will meet this person. Or maybe this connection will move a bit slower than usual because it feels like both of you are not going to you know, get intimate so quickly. Or spirits could be encouraging you to not get intimate so quickly with a potential person, romantic lover, okay? To not um, get intimate so quickly. Get to know each other better first with the Page of Pentacles. And then love will blossom from there. Um, that's very important. And Ten of Cups, you have a very, some of you, if you feel like, just want to get out of my house or I want to return to my house, that could happen. But it looks like it's, again, there is a delay with the hangman here. Um, yep. Anyway, Leo Aries Sage, this is your reading. I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal, re for personal readings. If you like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Feel free to subscribe to my other channel. It's called Chelsea Vlogs. It's my travel channel. I just posted a short yesterday. I like doing things alone in Bali because it's safe, it's easy, it's convenient. I, I like being alone, but also I like hanging out with my friends. I need that balance, but I don't like being around people all the time. So I do treasure the time alone. <laughs> I don't feel lonely. I feel good whenever I'm alone. But I also need that balance, hanging out with my friends. So, um, but anyway, that short is about me just alone, you know, going to my favorite places in Seminyak Bali whenever I have a day off. But take care, Leo Aries. I hope to see you back here again later tomorrow. And don't forget to hit on the bell notification button if you like to be notified every time when I post your videos. But make sure you customize it. I post very, very often, so I don't want to annoy anybody. You can customize it to your preferences. I believe you can mute it and some other options. All right, take care. Hope to see you soon. Bye.